in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My name is Enoch Harun Opuka, an attached clergy in this cathedral, and this week I'm going to take you through the sermonettes. The first one today is titled, The Origin of Suffering. The text is from Genesis 3, 14 to 17, and it reads, So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock and all wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I'll put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. And to the woman, God said, I'll make your pains in childbearing very severe. With painful labor, you will give birth to your children. Your desire will be for your husband and he will rule over you. To Adam, he said, because you listened to your wife and ate fruit from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat from it. Cast is the ground because of you. Through painful toil, you will eat food from it all the days of your life. Suffering, my friends, is universal. It is not limited to a group of people, a person, or even a country. In fact, if one looks around, one will not even find rhyme or reason. It is as if dark clouds of suffering is surrounding us. Hunger, wars, refugees, diseases, death, unemployment, and the list continues. But where did this suffering come from? Suffering began when people rebelled against God. Let us get this. Suffering began when people rebelled against God. The book of Genesis and the part where I've just read tells us the story of this first rebellion. God made the first man and woman, Adam and Eve, and gave them the perfect good world he made. He only gave them one rule. You may freely eat the fruit of every tree in the garden except the tree of knowledge of good and evil. If you eat its fruit, you are sure to die. They rebelled, and sure as night follows day, they reaped the consequences. God then tells them, cast is the ground because of you. Through painful toil, you will eat food from it all the days of your life. In fact, God was reminding them of the consequences of their action. We are the seed of Adam and Eve, and therefore suffering will be with us. We brought suffering on ourselves. The devil in the form of the servant, uh, serpent convinced Eve to eat from the tree by persuading her that God was holding out on her. God, in fact, this is what the evil one said. God knows that your eyes will be opened as soon as you eat it, and you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. The devil tempted her with the power to be like God, which would enable her to go her own way without trusting God, to be on her own. Adam also chose to eat the fruit, knowing that it was against God's command. He was not forced. Now, when they ate of their own free will, Adam and Eve decided to take the power of good and bad. Now, I want you to know that hitherto it had only been good. Therefore, Adam and Eve added bad. So, in fact, this is why 
they chose to trust Saturn. Because they chose to trust Saturn, Saturn can only have bad things for us. And through that choice, humankind broke their relationship with God and brought imperfection into the perfect world that was there then. God had protected his people from evil and death, but in choosing to step down from under God's protection, where they enjoyed eternal life, Adam and Eve brought death and suffering into the world for the first time. The scripture documents the consequence. Cast is the ground because of you. Through painful toil, you will eat food from it all the days of life. And from it came all the suffering that we have now. Now you know. Now, this happened long, long time ago. So why do we continue to suffer now? In other words, why does God permit this suffering to continue? That is my topic for tomorrow. Be there. Thank you. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.